In America as a whole, the idea of new freeways has slowly gotten a lot less common. Whether it's because of protests or just suburban areas being too built up, the country is just building less and less new freeways, which is why North Carolina interests me so much. See, North Carolina is working on five new major freeway projects throughout the state's major cities, including belt lines, outer loops, and future interstates. So today I wanted to talk about those projects, going through them one by one and talking about why the state is doing this at the end of the video. Before that though, I wanted to very quickly ask if you would please consider subscribing to the channel. I make geography content like this every single week, so if that's something that interests you, please just click the subscribe button. Thank you. So the final portion of the original interstate system was completed back in 1992 through Glenwood Canyon, Colorado. Though this may seem recent for some watching the video, 1992 was 30 years ago. Since then, interstate construction has just not progressed at the same rate. All the major cities were connected, meaning especially in places like the Northeast and Midwest, there just wasn't a reason for new ones. Now, as I just said, this was 30 years ago. And if there's one place that has progressed majorly, it's the Sun Belt. The main places that you're seeing actual strides in the infrastructure are in these growing Sun Belt cities. Looking recently, Houston just opened the Grand Parkway, arguably a fourth ring road for the city. We're also seeing work on the I-69 corridor from the Rio Grande Valley all the way up to Michigan, working through the east central region of the country. With that being said, North Carolina is an outlier. So I've known this was going on for a while. While I was making an earlier video on the channel, I talked about what was going on here. But over the last few months, I've noticed just how extensive the expansion in North Carolina is. So let's go over the five major projects in the state and give an overview. Starting with the Greensboro Urban Loop. So this is a less extensive one to start off the group. Greensboro is a growing town in the Piedmont Triad area, holding up a metro population of 357,000 as of 2020. So the government decided to build a full beltway around the city called the Urban Loop, which was meant to improve traffic flow within and around the city. The plan would bypass the downtown area and take more traffic off of the already busy I-40 through the city. Now most of it has already been completed and opened, except the portion we're talking about in this video. So in September 2013, they started on the north end of the Urban Loop, specifically from Battleground Avenue to Henry Boulevard. With all the segments on this north end added together, just the area we're talking about today cost them $503 million to construct, which we will add to our total for the video. Now, about half of this portion has been completed and opened, with only the segment east of Elm Street yet to be completed. The plan is for construction to end in spring 2023, meaning if you're watching this video in the future, you might be able to go out and drive on this road now. Next up, we're talking about the Winston-Salem Northern Beltway, a far more extensive project currently being constructed. So, this is a highway that really sparked my interest in North Carolina, because I saw the Greensboro Beltway very obviously being almost completed. But then I moved my mouse slightly to the west and saw just a very short portion of roadway done in the northeast Winston-Salem area, with more construction being evident on the satellite. So currently the plan is for it to go from near I-40 up around the north side of the Winston-Salem metro, and then come back down just past I-40. Now, I will say the way the project map looks, it's pretty obvious that at some point they will complete the loop through the southern portion of the metro. As I said previously, the only portion currently open is 4.4 miles long from the Salem Parkway up to New Walkertown Road. But construction is very evident in the whole region. Now this was started in December 2014, and since they only have 4 miles done at this point, things are not looking great. On the NCDOT website, the completion date is to be determined, but the project timeline has the final segment being constructed in 2028. So personally, I'd say we're looking at some time from 2028 into the 2030s, depending on how construction goes. For this project, $1.74 billion would go into our total for the video, being far more extensive than the Greensboro Urban Loop portion I talked about earlier. Next, we move to Raleigh to talk about I-540. So this is a quite far-reaching outer beltway for the growing city of Raleigh. Currently, they have somewhere around three-fifths done for the project, with the whole north and northwest segments being completed and opened. The plan currently is for I-540 to make a loop around the city, with it linking up at a mega interchange with both I-40 and US-70. The project started in 2019, and with it being so much bigger, it ends up costing approximately $2.2 billion. Now with that, you also have to factor in the importance of this project over the others. Raleigh is much bigger than Winston-Salem and Greensboro. The area just needs it far more. So this construction is at a better pace than normal. The completion date currently says TBD, but the last portion has a plan to be completed in 2025. I'd personally put this project at around 2027 to 2030, but the NCDOT seems relatively competent, so I wouldn't put it past them to get it done earlier. 
Next, we move out of the major three metros and into Fayetteville, home of Fort Bragg and the Cape Fear River, which is the coolest river name in the country, with the Schuylkill in a distant second. So here we're talking about the Fayetteville Outer Loop, going around the western portion of the city. Now the part we're talking about specifically is from Fort Bragg, past Rafer Road, and finally back into I-95. The project was started all the way back in 2003, making it the oldest of our list. But I guess maybe because Fayetteville isn't as major of a city, the construction just hasn't been a top priority. Right now they have a lot of it done and the final portion is being constructed, but it has taken a while. The completion date is currently set at 2026, with the estimated cost being around $1 billion. And to be honest, I'd believe it on both of these numbers. They seem pretty accurate. Something I wanted to highlight before I move on is the route they took in the southmost segment. Because if you look at where it's being constructed, you see it goes straight into a populated area. So you'd think that most of these new construction sites are in danger of being flattened. But no, the outer loop is going to take a 90 degree turn around these areas and continue like normal. Personally, I'm not sure why they didn't just go all the way around and take the route like this instead. I guess it really just is the only way they could get through easily. So if you're following along through this video with your calculators, we're currently at $5.4 billion just in time for our last project, Future I-87. So Future I-87 is more of a question mark than any others. It's meant to connect from Raleigh to Norfolk, Virginia on the Hampton Roads, going through Rocky Mount and Elizabeth City on its way there. The NCDOT website is not as helpful on this one, with all I could find being a feasibility study between Williamston and Elizabeth City. But finding new resources to help me, I have figured out the plan is basically to upgrade the existing routes to interstate standards, so there is a direct unobstructed route from the Virginia port to the Research Triangle. The timeline looks like around 20 years, with the cost being put at $1 billion, though the government will be paying for 90% of that. Currently, I'm really not seeing much progress, but since I'm not from there and I really wouldn't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see on this one. But one day, I-87 will be opened. So those are all the projects I wanted to talk about today, adding up to a total of $6.4 I do really think at this point, North Carolina stands above any other state in this type of infrastructure. Even their DOT website is just significantly better than any I've seen. Now something that mainly goes into this is that the state's growth is pretty new. So they didn't have time in the 60s to build the amount of infrastructure that other states were at the time. And now they're seeing the bad parts of that. But no other Sunbelt states are developing at this rate in this way. So I'm really just not sure what sets North Carolina apart from the rest of the country. But whatever it is, it makes for a wonderful YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the members this week, Florida Jake, Philip Gertz, Somnam Woods, Big Pasty, Karen Hudson 81, Stormy Knight, Nikita Martinoff, KMS162, Haystack, Benjamin Whiting, Ryan Devins, Hazev the Wolf, Jake Holloway, JL, Jeremy Carport, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, and Bryson. I appreciate you all so much. It genuinely just makes me so happy to know that there are people out there that want to support the channel in this way. If you want to become a channel member, the link is in the description below, as well as the join button next to the subscribe button. All this money goes straight into my savings, so you know none of it's going to a bad cause. You are just supporting me as a person in my future, helping me save up for college and stuff. So anyways, thank you so much.